Hello everybody and good day. This is Fred Wood Tech Talk and Wentworth CCTV of New England. And we are coming at you today with a video on how you can locate and download onto your PC or Mac the latest version of Heek Vision's IVMS 4200. The newest version was released in June of 2023. Its version is 3.10.0.6. If you previously downloaded your version prior to that date, you definitely want to upgrade your software, okay? Previous versions did have a lot of issues with encoding, security, and also playback, right? If you had an incident and you had to download that incident using that IVMS, the video that you downloaded most likely was not usable unless you used Teak Vision's format converter to convert it from H.264 or H.265 compression um, into a usable uh, format that Windows Media Player and the software on your PC or Mac could play. Okay, so that's been addressed in this new release. They fixed that. When you download video, you'll be able to send that file to your insurance company, to the local authorities, and they're going to be able to play it using the software that's already on their computer. So, so that's fantastic. They fixed that. Uh, also, in the past, you got timeout errors, right? If you were live viewing video, um, it, it would stop and you'd get errors, and it was very frustrating. Uh, with this newer version, I haven't seen that. It's much more fluent, uh, and the video seems to stay on, okay? Um, security issues, everybody knows about NDAA compliance. Um, Heek Vision was essentially blacklisted uh, and not allowed to be installed in federal government uh, facilities, courthouses, military bases. Um, they didn't want this stuff in there because they knew uh, it was connected to servers in China, Okay. So, so this forced Heek Vision to clean up their act, and, and they's, they've addressed those security concerns, um, and, and they've addressed the encoding issues as well. So, so like I said, if you have not downloaded the new version, um, you definitely want to, not just for the ability to, you know, to live view and, and to send downloaded video, but, but to fix up those, uh, those security concerns, okay? It's a relatively simple process. We're going to walk through it right now. All right, everybody, what do you say? Let's get into the meat and potatoes. Before we do, you know the drill. There is a red subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. Please click that and subscribe to our channel if you have not yet done so. That way you can be notified when we upload future content. Also, like the video if it's useful to you. And as always, leave comments. A lot of these videos, this content is based on viewer and subscriber questions and comments. And uh, certainly keep those coming. So the first thing you're going to do is head over to Heek Vision's website, okay? There is a link in the description uh, to this video um, with, with this address. Once you get to the site, you're going to come over here to support, and we're going to come down to downloads, okay? When you click on downloads, right here you will see software, okay? This will bring you to the software downloads, okay? And you will see IBMS 4200. Um, you, you might be asking yourself, why is HIK Connect also listed? Um, the reason for that, if you have an iPhone, you're currently able to download HIK Connect, okay? If you happen to have a Android phone, HIK Connect is not in your um, Play Store, okay? So you'll have to Use your phone, Google Peak Vision, or use the link that's in the description to the video. Uh, come to this page and download HIK Connect that way versus in an app store. But what we're here for is the client software uh, for your PC or Mac, and that is right here, IBM S42. So if we click on that, it's going to give us the option to download IBM S, the client software for your uh, PC or for your Mac. Okay. Also, down at the bottom, there are other downloads, okay? There's a user manual uh, for the new version of IVMS 4200. There's a data sheet, and there's also release notes. And if you click those release notes, it will tell you all of the things that have been fixed or addressed with this new version of IVMS 4200. So a lot of people don't know these documents exist. They do. The user manual, if you're, if you're not familiar with IVMS 4200, um, can teach you a lot, okay? But yes, we're here for the download. So what we're going to do is we're going to click this. 
we're going to agree to the license agreement. And as you will see, it is downloading uh, the executable file right here. So we'll let that finish. Um, again, the previous version took forever to download. Uh, because those security issues have been addressed, um, it's much faster now, much faster. So we'll let that do its thing. Looks like four seconds left. Should be able to open it here in a second. There we go. So we'll just click open. Uh, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Uh, you have to agree to the terms of the software license agreement. If you want to read that, you can click on here and read it. Click next. Now, for standard users, we just want video, okay? This new software has the ability uh, for the artificial intelligence dashboard, emaps, time and attendance, access control, um, all of the other tools that Peak Vision users have access to, okay? But for us, we're talking about security cameras in this video. So we just want basic configuration and video, okay? We want to download those tools only. If you leave everything else, click time and attendance, the EMAP, access control. Uh, it's going to take longer to download, and you don't need all that junk on your PC, right? We just want to live view and playback video. So we'll hit install here, and it will install the program. Again, it's not connecting you to anything frivolous here and the installation is much quicker than the old version it took forever right the old version took forever so we'll let that finish up installation is complete all right so we'll finish it up and as simple as that right we just downloaded the file and uh, it's ready to use so Let's let the client open up. Um, we want to enable upgrade detection for when they update and a newer version is, is available. Okay. Here, now, people get confused with this. This is just a username and a password for your desktop. Okay. It has nothing to do with your NVR, DVR, security cameras. The, the passwords don't have to match. This is just to get the... Uh, the access to this app on your computer. A lot of people will click auto login once you put in your credentials and you'll never see this again. So I'll go ahead and do this. And we'll click again auto login so you don't have to log in every time you use it. And then, of course, password protection in case you uh, forget what that password is. You'll be able to answer it with these questions. What city were you born? What was your first job? Kmart. Yes, sir. And then let's do, let's see, let's see. What else do we want to do? What's the name of your first pet? Lucky. He was a good dog. All right. Don't you clowns be using those uh, that information for anything else either. All right. So now, just like that, folks, we are in to IBM S4200. And we will, I said previously, we can log directly into our HIK Connect accounts uh, using IBM S4200. How we do that, right up here where it says the cloud and not logged in, if you click that, you can pick your region. We're in the USA. I'm going to enter HIK Connect. And here, you just put the username and password to your HIK Connect account, right? If you are not familiar with the mobile app, Heek Visions mobile app, HIK Connect, there's a link going across the top of your screen right now, but you can download that to your mobile device, your smartphone, you know, your, your iPhone or your Android or a tablet, and you can connect the recorder 
uh, or the cameras, IP cameras, to this app by scanning the QR code on the product. Okay, we don't have time to go over all that in this video, but we're going to log into an account. All right, we are logged in. As you can see now, uh, it tells you you're logged in. Uh, it will give you the account name. But what we can do now is show you, for example, how much better uh, this works. If we click on main view, okay, this is your control panel. And the two primary things we're going to be concerned about is live view and playback, right? If we go to main view, that's live view. It will bring up your system. Uh, the first time you use it, um, you'll have to name everything, okay? Uh, this is a client of ours. It's called White Sands. But as you can see, uh, the recorder's not named in the software yet. So if you want to do that, where these three dots are, you can click on there. Edit group name. And we'll just type White Sands. And then we know uh, what the heck it is. The camera names themselves, they will import, okay? So to live view, you just double click the video. I'm sorry, the camera will ask you for the stream key, which you set up when you installed the camera. It's most likely your password, your admin password. Um, once you put that in, you'll be able to see the camera. It's just an added, added security level. All right. And there is the camera. Uh, if you double click on it, you can pull it up. But as you can see by the timestamp, okay, we're viewing this remotely. This location is uh, probably 50 miles away. Um, no problems. No problems with streaming. Uh, we can go to full screen here. Very crisp picture. This is a 4K uh, Heek Vision bullet camera. There is a link in the description uh, to this video for this exact camera. Uh, very cost-effective camera with a nice picture, right? So to get out of full screen, you're just going to hit Escape on your keyboard. And uh, if you wanted to put another camera up, you could click on another box and pick a, um, you know, another camera. It does not have to be uh, in order, okay? You can go anywhere and pick any of them. So we can pick rear storage here, okay? Click to the box, rear storage. And we got to put the stream key in again. You only have to do that the first time when you set it up. You're not going to have to put the stream key in every time you log in. And then that's just a that's just a door, okay. So there's live view, okay. If you want to take a still shot, um, you see the camera back here, right? Just hit capture. It's going to take a picture, and it will give you the link right here, okay. So if you happen to see something uh, while you're watching live view and you want to take a snapshot of it, let's go ahead and hit that camera, and it will do it for you. If you open the folder, there's your picture, right? User friendly, user friendly. You can also take video clips, okay? So if, if we saw something interesting during live view and we didn't want a still shot, but we wanted some video footage, we can start recording by hitting this guy and you'll see it turns red, okay? So what we're doing now is we're recording any activity that happens here. When we're done, we can click that again and it will give us our folder, okay? All right, so now, now, if we want to download a video clip and play it back, right, we're going to X out here and we're going to go to remote playback. Okay, so we will just pick, let's pick the beach here. And we can go to a time, go to a couple hours ago here, and you can see the beach, okay? 
So if during playback, okay, if during playback we see our incident, all right, once again, we can hit this start recording. And we can let us let it do its thing here. And then we can stop recording. Okay, it will give us the link to the folder. And there is the video um, that we want to play back. Okay, all you have to do is double click on it now. And there it is playing back perfectly, right? We didn't have to do any uh, file conversions. We didn't have to uh, use a Hikvision media player. Um, we just double clicked on the file and, and it plays right away. Um, so so that, that's a huge advantage, right? We weren't able to do that in the past. So if that's your incident now, you can right click um, and you can share it, right? You can share it by email, by Outlook. You can download it to Dropbox, and you'll have that file forever. Okay? So, as you can see, it is much, much more improved. Um, I left Heekvision for a while and started using Dawa's Smart PSS. I found that um, to, to be better, quite frankly, after using Heekvision for decades, switched to Dawa. Um, I've tried this new version of IBMS 4200 out, as well as the new version of HIK Connect. Um, and Heek Vision is making ground. I, I would compare this um, as comparable uh, to Dawa Smart PSS now, their, their client software. Um, but in any event, you will want to download this new version um, if your existing version of IBM S 4200 was installed previous to June of 2023. Okay. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the field.